Uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us, I don't know. Like if there are so many planets out there and the universe is almost 14 billion years old, why, why aren't the aliens everywhere? This is a, one of the most perplexing questions. Where are they? Do you think we'll make contact with aliens within the, the next 50 years? Well, that's a really tough one to say. Um, they're probably already observing us, and we just are not smart enough to realize it. There either are a lot of aliens or none, and the either they're equally terrifying. I mean, if there are super intelligent aliens out there, they're probably already observing us. That would seem quite likely, and we just um, are not smart enough to realize it. Um, but I can do some some back of the envelope calculations. And um, any advanced alien civilization that, that was at all interested in populating the galaxy, um, even without, uh, without exceeding the speed of light, even if you're only moving at, say, 10 or 20 percent of the speed of light, um, you could uh, populate the entire galaxy in, let's say, 10 million years maybe 20 million years max. This is nothing, you know, in the grand scheme of things. So, you know, where are the aliens? Um, and um, I think it was Carl Sagan that said, like, uh, if, if there either are a lot of aliens or none. And the either they're equally terrifying. Mm. Um, if there are a lot of aliens, well, I mean, the invasion ship slash uh, bug infestation. <clears throat> it's like an alien civilization might just view us as like a bug infestation. Right. You know, it's like, hey, we left that planet, it was fine. Now it's got a bunch of bugs, just go fumigate it, you know. Um, like we'd fumigate a house. Um, <laughs> that, that's certainly possible. And then, uh, but if there are no aliens, well, could it be that all civilizations are just destroyed before they become inter-, inter uh, Stellar, you know, mm. so, uh, and, and I, I want to be clear, like, <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, I, there is no evidence for alien life on Earth, that the alien, I, there's no, ev a, and there's no evidence for alien life, there's no direct evidence for alien life. I mean, we have archaeologists going all over the world looking at things, you know, with this, this the people, like, if, if we were to find something like, let's say, like a cube of titanium, just like a one inch cube of titanium, let's see, in the middle of the pyramid. I'd be like, aliens for sure. There's no way they could have made a titanium back then. Now, and the thing is that um, on a galactic time scale, even with sublight travel, you could absolutely colonize the whole galaxy, even some of the neighboring galaxies. Um, so if you gave, if you said a million years with, with, with and say with, there's, no, there's no new physics, could you colonize the galaxy in a million years? Absolutely. The entire galaxy. I mean, I think there's, there's quite a high chance of microbial life. Um, and it's, there's a much, that then as you get more advanced in life, that, that there's less and less likelihood of, of um, like sophisticated life. But you don't, th do you think there's sophisticated, do you think there are aliens out there? That we can talk to, you mean? It's, it's an interesting confluence of events. Like, it's not just that there has to be life, intelligent life that evolves somewhere, but that, that life has to last for a long time for us to be co for us to exist at the same time as that. Um, so, and what it suggests is like, there's this great question, it's called the, like, sort of the Fermi paradox. Like, where are the aliens? Like, if there are so many planets out there um, and the universe is almost 14 billion years old, why, why aren't the aliens everywhere? Um, and um, this is a, one of the most perplexing questions. Um, because, um, you know, you could basically bicycle to Alpha Centauri in a few hundred thousand years. Like, meaning at that's at bicycle speed. So it's sort of like, you know, uh, in, in 100 million years, like even at a very slow speed, you could completely blanket the galaxy. So why, why not? Where are they? They sure are subtle. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, if they yeah. wanted us to know, obviously they they could just for sure you know show up and walk yeah. down Main Street. You know, like, right? Hey, I'm an alien. Check me out. You know, right? Uh, he has my spaceship. I just land in the middle of Times Square. I'd be like, right? Okay. Or hover over downtown L.A. Yeah, yeah. We were like, okay, we believe you. Yeah. Um, so whatever they are, they are, <laughs> they are very subtle, very subtle. These aliens. How I, often do you think about it? Nine zero. Zero. <laughs> Even though you're thinking about interplanetary travel, you don't really think about aliens. No, I mean, if they show up, I'm like, great, okay, now this is new information. The Mars thing is is really like, if you say what is going to be really important to the preservation of uh, of, of civilization or life as we know it, more than just, you know, humanity, because uh, of course we bring life as we know it to Mars. Um, and th there's no life that we can detect on the surface of Mars. There may be some subterranean bacterial life, but there's no, it's, on, on the surface there, there isn't anything. Um, so this would be the extension of life to another planet, um, or life as we know it to another planet. Um, and um, I think would be, make a huge difference to the probable a lifespan of human civilization and um, and life as we know it. So it's sort of like an insurance policy, a life insurance policy of life collectively. And, um, you know, so it's, yeah. The window of possibility is open for us to extend life to another planet. Um, to the best of our knowledge, life uh, exists only on Earth. I mean, I, you know, there's a good argument that it exists elsewhere, but we've seen no sign of it. I think it's important for us to take advantage of that window while it is open and to, to establish life on another planet in the solar system, uh, just in case something goes wrong with, with Earth. Um, and, uh, you know, it could be, there could be either a natural or a man-made uh, disaster uh, that knocks the technology level below that which is possible, where it is possible to, to travel to another planet. Yes, it's funny, the universe appears to be 13.8 billion years old. Earth is like four and a half billion years old. You know, another half billion years or so, the sun will expand and probably evaporate the oceans and make life impossible on Earth, which means that if it had taken consciousness 10% longer to evolve, it would never have evolved at all. It's 10% longer. Um, and I wonder, I wonder how many dead one planet civilizations there are out there in the cosmos that never made it to the other planet and ultimately extinguished themselves or were destroyed by external factors. Probably a few. <laughs>